last time on Dog Naropa, Trigger Happy Havoc. Yeah, I'll get a pistol trial run. After all, I've already seen the future has in store for you. What? When did you, when well? did you see that? Huh, you don't believe what I saw, Lamon. It appeared that the mother of your children and mother of my children are the same woman. You know, and that bad ending we got. I refuse. Denied. I don't like it. I'm right, right? It's a matter if you like don't like it. It's the way it is. Yep. It's a chance of happening if you pick the wrong answer in, during a trial. What's a trial? I don't know, Mon, but you'll get you. That's what, ha what happened. And now back to trying to ditch school. If you just do it, it's okay. Hey everyone, welcome back to Dyke Number for Trigger Happy Havoc in School Mode. I'm Vendee98. You should know that by now. And welcome back. Last time we bonded with uh Celeste and and if you meet not Fumi, uh Haka Curry, and they're both crazy. Wait. This time, I'm gonna. Have a little fun. Okay, I think that's good. Tagami's out, out of control! Nobody collapsed, but nobody did anything else either. I do. Give me somebody. Let's meet with Sakura. So I talk to... Sakura! Yep, there you are. Sakura. Put them together. I see. Even if I don't feel like talking, they'll still stand by me. <laughs> I don't understand you, Makoto. Saying a word, I stood by Sakura. We can touch the day. Yes, definitely. Oh, no, no, damn it, no, damn it. Ugh. Once wait that we're present there for, for her. I'm the first train break at the most relaxing time of my life. It's the sense of your muscles were cooling down after heating up during a workout is the only true reward. No matter how times I, I experience it, I never get tired of it. Do you excited every morning, Sakura? Mm. Unless, unless there's an iron, I absolutely can't get off, yes. I always do my training. 
Even then, I do my tra training during my errands. If I don't, I feel like restless for the rest of the day. But I'm amazed you can do it every single day. Doesn't it get tough? I can't say I've ever seen it as tough. It's, it's also I can get stronger after all. And I have to get strong, keep on getting stronger because it's my destiny to fight. Your destiny is to fight? Mm. From the day I was born, I have been fighting. Heaven sent me to live as his champion. That's one heck of a legend. Mm. My father was my master and every, my every waking moment was spent with him willing to fight. The child, I, I sparred with boxing champions, hit the mat with wrestling gold medalists. I was no match with them when I first began, of course. But before long, they were no match for me. You mean you have to stop beating people like that? Mm. I say my specialty is strong stand-up that tr transitions into grappling and a strong ground game. Essentially to complete approach, anything else would just make when it makes sense. People become the best by reaching the top of the discipline, then fusing them all together. Stand up fighting, grappling, trying to martial arts, can only be... Akio? I'll mix martial arts. Oh, Akita, that's about the future, future reference here! You're basically a mixed martial arts fighter, right? Of course. That's right. The most effective real world fighting style, which is why I chose it. I know it's only the best pub distance, I want to be the strongest human on Earth. I wouldn't beg and see you, that's for sure. But aren't you already the best? Well. No, not yet. There's still someone I have to surpass. Really? Huh. Until I can beat him, I will never become the strongest. You mean someone else that's stronger than you? Mm. Maybe I'll tell you about another time that opportunity presents itself. And another free time event. Sucker, make it sound as he left. I honestly can't say it. I honestly can't believe there's someone that's stronger than Sakura. Even if they're real, can they really be human? To my room. Um, okay then. Down to bed. Go to bed. There it's already. <laughs> I know I have to do it. I know I have to do it. I have to do whatever it takes. It's pretty good. Cloth and whistles.
photo albums. Do this! Yay! Ah, oh, so let's down. But, but it made all the prey! There is nothing to be done. I feel like this. I think I'm for this entire endeavor. Whatever. I already maxed her out anyways. Who I talk to? Hello, Sakura. Come yeah. together. And the air purifier room. So then. Let's go to exercising. Now we take time for a break. Like, go drink for a bit. Sakura is down for tea and a calming, relaxing conversation. We go, we go closer. Yes. This time I do. What? I have to look out here for this. How'd you know? <laughs> You're quite the mysterious man, Makoto. Let me give you a hug. No, no, no. Ah! Bones pressing! Bones pressing! I suppose I don't, talk to, I don't mind talking to you a little bit more. Really? Can I ask you something? Mm. What is it? So that you said before, we talking about before. You said there's something stronger than you? Nope. 
Can I ask you if it's a guy or a girl? Huh. It is a man. A man that Socrates has surpass. Maybe she's talking about your own her own teacher. What's it mean? You, your grandpa. Your dad? Talking about your dad? You're talking about your dad, right? Mmm. The family dojo has been passed down from generation to generation for the past three centuries. A century? That's one heck of a century. Mm. I was born in my family as, a, as an only daughter. Male or female doesn't matter. It's my duty to protect our legacy. Because I'm a woman, I must be even stronger than if I were a man. Huh. Some would say that a woman is capable of becoming the strongest human alive. I want to prove them wrong. This is why I subjected myself to such feverish training under my father's instructions. Surpassing my father was certainly important to me. Well. But that was just a matter of time. What do you mean? Hmm. I was 14 years old when I first beat my father in a sparring match. After that, I never lost my father again. Wait then. Mm. Yes, I've already surpassed my father. I don't believe it. Well. Not sure I did the right th I'm not sure I did the right thing. My father also had that desire to become the strongest human alive. But I can't look back. I can only move forward and try to claim that power for myself. That is my destiny. Goodbye. That's all for now. It's enjoyable. Goodbye. Another word, Sakura left me standing there alone. Wait, hold on! I never I never did find out who could probably be stronger than her. Did we talk about that on purpose? Breathing technique. I'm not sure what it is, but I could probably use it in the never playthrough. I like that room for a little while. Yeah. Okay then. Sweet dreams, everyone. Ooh. How are you? This is very strong. It's tell me. This is very strong. It's meant to be a wonderful day. Wow. Wow, that was fast. She sure, sure. She sure. Uh.
right. Do this. Sucker again. Hi, Sakura. Let's bond. Well, then, you know, Makoto, you seem a little thin for a man. I help you bulk up a little bit. Sucker accepted me to a harsh borderline cool training session. I was sore. Yes, definitely. Sure, guys, that's so valuable. Uh, sure, I got for a coin or two in the machine. Who do I? So then. So we already talked so much, so okay, talk a little more, right? Yeah, hey. I'm happy. You know, Makoto. You're making concerning me. What? Hmm. The school has all kinds of exercise equipment, which is great. But still, have every offer everything I need to complete my training. I feel like I'm getting weaker by the day. <sighs> I'm supposed to accept that? Accept my atrocity? I can't do it! Some reason it changed. All, all, I'm drinking poison! <sighs> hey, Sakura, just hang in there. I don't see what's in it, Phil. You can't rest these things. Mm. You say it doesn't have anything you need to your train. What do you mean? Of course. Well, I can't say I'm a huge of modern training techniques with heavy machinery. That's good for building muscle mass, but doesn't necessarily translate to actual strength. Muscle is better, of course. You also need to learn how to use it. You're not used to put used to it. Pushing your muscles too hard can lead to injury.
There are even some war class rustlers who only build muscles by climbing rope and things like that. Hmm. Mixed martial arts, speed, agility, and endurance are all necessary parts of total body co coordination. That's your goal. You can't just focus on one aspect of your training. For example, keep, keep, keep playing pull ups can train one area while power training equipment works in multiple areas. Hmm. Are you listening? Oh, uh, uh, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I got it. Huh. Weight free training is an option, but sure, but power training is much a greater challenge. I've had my own training method ever since I was a little child. Hey. For example, I take an old tire and hit everything I've had. Are you still listening? Yeah! Totally. So then, what I say? What, what I used to hit that tire I mentioned. What you? What you? You sure you said that? Then I think, son, it's definitely. I want to think about. I got my answer. What you said, tire was you're training with? Your fist. You didn't know your fist. <sighs> oh my, pff, well, I wasn't listening. Say for sure, try to besides the higher body. I was listening to my higher body, right? Sorry, enter a sword. Kind of a sword. Oh, that's a brown sword. I see. Ah, here I said, ah, damn it. So, right. Foul. <laughs> Foul hammer. Oh, damn, damn it. I got that one wrong. I think I started talking about that people using giant hammers for training like that. Of course. Exactly. So I've been doing that since childhood. Extremely good for your core. That kind of thing is impossible here. So in the end. I can feel myself growing weaker. You have to endure it. Endure the, during the kind of thing that being probably strong, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I think. For now, I still focus on training my mind. Mm -hmm. She taught me taught me something today, Makoto. Importance of endurance. Well, I mean, I wouldn't call that teaching per se. <laughs> sorry for making me listen. Sorry for making you listen to me complain. I feel better now. I can handle this. I'm glad I talked to you. I want a way to repay you favor. Sorry, girl left moving quickly for a size. Has it helped her? That's good. I'm glad to see she's starting to trust me a little more. Okay, here we go. Yay! Blah blah blah. Um, okay. Bye bye. Okay, bye. -bye. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yay! See ya later. albums
I have no idea. I don't know where I put it. Hey, Cheryl, she leveled up. Hooray! Who I talk to? Let's talk to her again. Hi, Sakura. You're Sakura. Time for a break. Definitely. Happy. Well, I can share this with you. Huh? Share what? <gasps> the story of the man who's even stronger than me. What? Hmm. Never told you about this before, but I think I can tell you. Oh, somebody even stronger than you? Hmm. The truth is, I have a lifelong rival. He only fights at underground tournaments, which is why nobody knows about him. But he's truly the strongest man on the planet. I faced him in battle after battle and lost every time. He's that strong? However... These days, fighting has become its own science in a way. People have studied it, it evolved, and eventually it was established as its formal sport. The, the idea of becoming invincible disappeared. Whoever developed the next great technique becomes the best. Well... But even in this modern era, he never used that kind of scientific approach. It's only teacher. It's real combat. He laughs in the face of combat sports. No one can even come close to him. Martial arts relies on a certain amount of luck. A lucky punch, misstep, can decide who wins. But none of that matters to him. He never loses. There is no strategy that can beat him. Many have studied. All have lost. Is this guy really human? Mm. His name is Kenshiro. As he described it to me, he inherited what he called the ancient assassination art. Assassination art? He sounds super dangerous. Well. And the story does not end there. You hear what I had to say and not laugh? Laugh? No. Why would I laugh? <gasps> just look at your just look at just look at your face look at your face. I can tell you'll laugh. Huh? So in the end. Please give me some more time. I need to gather my thoughts. But I'm sorry. Please understand. Even I, the, uh, too uh, heart of a woman. She doesn't say anymore. Let me stay in there. Heart of a woman. Tranquility. Yay. When you, if you're confused, I'm back to my room. Girls confuse me. Absolutely night time. Get my plane to rest and get, get to work. Okay then. Sweet dreams. Sweet dreams. Bye bye. <laughs> do, I'm gonna do whatever it takes. Yay! She's feeling good. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Ooh. Yes. See ya later.
lake. Well, I glass that they made it, but... Hey, where, where's it at, Al? No idea. <laughs> I do here. Yay! Tucker's going crazy! Right, I only have one person cleaning. It's all leveled up! Hooray, Mizuno! Come together. I see. You went flip talking. Blah blah blah. Blah blah blah. blah. <laughs> Definitely. Decide what? Huh. Time that's left at my story. Let's talk like about Kinshiro. You know, I say I don't know what there's left at. So then. Join me in my, uh, in my room. Just the two of us. It's like we're dragging me to her room. Wow. I imagined it. In a girl's room, it's, it's getting kind of nervous. It's like we're making nervous for all a reason. Hey. 
Is there, is there any glitching around? Uh, sorry. Well, then. Anyway, yeah, so I'll continue my story. But yeah, the one, the only, can zero. That's like, that's right, right, my left lung right <gasps> in. My, my first love. First love? Did you just laugh? No, I, no, I definitely didn't laugh! I mean, it's pretty surprising and all, but... You made the choice to tell me the story. Of course I'm not gonna laugh. I would never. Hmm... I'm ashamed of myself. I under underestimated you. I'm sorry. I beg your forgiveness, Makoto. No, that's totally, that's totally not necessary. I just don't want to be laughed at. Imagine a girl like me using the word love. So in the end, and being shy about it, saying it's, saying it's even more brilliant, right? I creep myself out to be honest. But you are a girl. You're allowed to have fun inside. Well. But my goal is to become the strongest warrior on the planet. Maybe. You don't have to, have to be, quote, manly to, to find that kind of strength. <sighs> huh, are you okay? Mm. Yes, I just, I just, you may remember something. And Sierra to say something very similar. I've forgotten about that. Mm. But there's no point to recalling his words now. I really am a girl. Still dragging his words with me like a chain around my neck. Huh? What do you mean? He might... He might already be gone? Right now, Kinara Ken sure is. He's fighting. Oh, jeez, I thought you, you, you were gonna say... He's fighting an illness. Oh, huh? Hmm. And they found out they said he only had six months to live. But six months has come and gone, he's still fighting. That's just how he is. That's just how he is. He would, he would never let a disease beat him. He has to get better. He's the strongest human alive. I admit that. No, I believe that. Sakura. Huh. I visited him once. He lost someone's weight. He looked a tiny different person. You know what he said? He told me that... He told me that now I was the strongest human alive. That I had taken the title. He said that he returned someday to get that tile back. He said I better not anyone else take it. However, he didn't need to say that. The last part. I'll never give up that tile not until he gets better. When that day comes, I will defeat Ken Kenshiro and that tile for real. That's why I have to get stronger. I had no idea. Mm. That's my biggest reason for becoming the strongest human alive. I'm sorry for wasting your time with such a long winded story. Well. I'm not sure why I told you. I think that somehow you remind me of him. Huh? Me? Mm. Well, in a certain, well, in a certain way, your body is obviously different. But you both have a strong core. Strong core? No, I. <laughs> you don't have to be modest. I know strength. I know you don't need to be modest. I know strength when I see it. Okay. Okay. I like can understand Sakura so much better. I think maybe we can friend in the truest sense of the word. Yay, friendship. I walked for a while longer and I went back to my room. I got explosive. Nope. I got nothing. <laughs> cooking! The cooking Markuma! <gasps> yeah. <laughs> Alright, Kyuk. Is Samaru's ready to go?
Buddy, Who I talked to. Talked to a few me today. Uh. Hello. Hmm. Hmm. You had to say, hmm. huh? I make it alter ego again. Gross. Comic video games. I talked about comics, video games, anime. I talked about you guys. Take your pick. I listen. I listen to him obsessed about stuff. Stuff that I didn't care about. Now then, like this time, like the, my, one of my mini legends. The legends. <laughs> naturally, naturally, you don't become the ultimate fanfic character about Linux substance popping around you. One such legend is how in middle school I was in the, the school of fanfic club. Here we go. And from that day on, I exposed myself in the fanfic, my fans of the world at large. I mean, you have my work is based on. Sorry, no idea. Yes, indeed. Well, surely you've heard of the highly acclaimed angel demon anime, demon angel, pretty pudgy princess. Mm, 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 now you might think that Tom mm. Foley could say, but you'd be wrong. I didn't, I didn't simply, I didn't simply copy the pretty girl princess piggy style. I took a totally mega sci-fi approach. My projected was seen as quite odd, of course, but if you look at, look at what I was doing. My version of Princess Pickles was the total ephesus of the new wave sci-fi movement! In fact, in fact, it was my response to J.G. Bard's special effect right, style! Here we go! Like, uh, my skin flicking out again, I apologize! So it anyway, unlike most fans, I never saw P Princess Pickles at your typical Moe anime. Yeah, I definitely got that impression. I can't believe that you're able to see me when say you're still like, like a club. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's because I bribed them with my cut of my profits. Profits? <laughs> I only got better at I'm blowing up. Now then, up until now, I've I've always focused on taking part in Princess Pickle's single setting event. Single settings? Mm hmm. Ugh. It's when a circle, it's when a circle gets together to come up with a project or event, focus on a show or series. So a Princess Pickles single setting event would only allow work to volume Princess Pickles, see? On the flip side, if there's no restriction on the number of properties, you know what that's called? A 
single sand and only lost the material from one set of soul series. Just a free for all? Is this a free for all? That's absolutely right! You win, Makoto Tayagi! There's actually plenty of free for all events every year, and yet. You know nothing! More and more slackers are showing up with no idea what fanfic really means. It's so annoying! And over the crystal peons with all my might, I'm gonna start taking part in more free for alls! Of course, them all, it doesn't sound very friendly. This is unforgivable! I'm participating in those events that make friends. Can't forget those lazy bastards! And don't tell me to ignore them. If you let some little wimp survive, you'll regret it later. Playing RPG with the villain spares the, where the villain spares the hero when he's level one. And what happens? Boom, dead. I kind of get it, but I kind of don't. Mm -hmm. That means you're, that means you're the vil, that mean you're a villain. The dog eat dog industry, or only the most brutal survive. No, don't worry, I'm gonna start you off easy. Again, you involved in some simple cosplay action. Huh? What? Cosplay? What? What? I'm involved? You're a pretty good looking guy. If costume was decent enough, I might even look at the right boot. <laughs> I think you let yourself a match look really am. Yes, indeed. Without that, in, that in mind, let's change the rule of a family together. <laughs> Makoto and a grill harem? That'll never happen. S silly, you fool me. I ran, I ran away. Uh, okay. Yes, indeed. Now then. Wait, jump. You jump high. You're bidding my master! <laughs> it's like... Make it up! What's wrong? Mm -hmm. It hurts! What hurts? Are you okay? Mm -hmm. you're, you're always funny. Let me get some medicine. What kind of medicine do you need? Coke. Huh? Say what? Coke! Diet Coke! Use Diet Coke right now! 180. I don't think I've ever seen Diet Coke in this, in this school. I suppose. I know, I looked all over. Say what? Now I'm going to Diet Coke withdrawal. Withdrawal? <laughs> if only I messed with the hip of the eye technique. Might not I take over from the brain. You to get some. You to give me some Diet Coke. But I never did learn that one. Y'all get this time bear. Uh, so, uh. Say what? Anymore, I'd rather murder anyone for here. Can't have that cook. Okay, back in the way now. Don't do it like that. You gotta go you through this. You can, you can say that. You know, the sentence is glorious for diet cook. Yeah, it sucks. <laughs> diet cook is a friend to all mankind. Take a little sip, and your bite feels like butter. It's the kind of height nothing you can match. So, my mind, even the most boring conversation sounds like. No Mac masterpiece. <laughs> I know it's gonna withdraw. I'm just leaving now. Yeah! Wait, fall spirits! I cast the out. Calm down. <laughs> it's like. Here comes hallucinations. 
That voice! <laughs> Princess Pickles, is that you? Snap out of it, you loser! <sighs> the princess told me to snap out of it. You can't, you can't let that cook beat you. You got it! You're right, I won't lose. I'm a strong boy. I'm a big boy. And this, I can do it to my princess. Come on, come on. Let's play tag. Hurry, right, hurry, right, tag, you're it. You're up to who knows where. Um. Okay, right? Yeah, you're fine. Oh, okay, walking away now. Walking away. I, I, I saw him hiding in the corner, and, and I and I just ignored him. Uh, tag. You're it. Cosplayers these days are totally ignorant at the origins of their history and the signals of their hobbies! If you don't know your history, you can never have a complete cosplay experience! So it's seen. So, Mr. Nayagi, pray yourself with the glorious to tell the the cosplay world! Now say bye, blah blah blah. Blah 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 blah. Like you're worthy of my trust, you know? You're the only one that I can confess to. <laughs> I need to get out of here right now. Uh, don't, talk to, don't talk to me like a girl in your face. <laughs> I need to see her. I need to see TV. I need to see the real Princess Pickles. What does he mean real? He's a cartoon character, right? Now about time to bring that up. Listen, now, don't get upset. I'm sure you'll see her again really soon. You'll see her, what is it? Something Angel, Pretty Puggy Princess? Without a doubt! Something Angel? Something Angel! You know nothing! How dare you insult the princess like that? Say her name right, you swine! What's her name was it again? It's definitely something, something Angel. Something Demon Angel. No, I remember the full title is Demon Angel, Pretty Pudgy Princess, right? <laughs> It's actually Demon Angel Star Pretty Pretty Princess to be precise. But I hope the star right supposed all that slide. Thanks. But geez, if you really love that anime, huh? Mm-hmm. Of course, he's my guiding guiding angel. She's opened my eyes to life. How very sad. Before her, I didn't have a single friend. I was just a middle mannered boy who liked to draw. I heard everything I touched as a I'm all young lad, they fell to the dark side. For example, sometimes a nice, nice night type girl will talk to me, right? That's it! I'm sure of it! You know, being nice to the real, real dark crit, I scream at her, You're so hypocrite! <sighs> I, just love, I just yell at her face and make her cry. Man, I love doing that. That's awful! You probably traumatized that poor girl. By total chance, by total chance, I happened to catch an episode of Demon Angel Pretty Pretty Princess that one day. Which I felt nothing but contempt for it. I thought it was another magical girl anime. What? However, that's going to be my dreams. Your dreams? <laughs> I dreamed I went on a date with, after date of lovely Princess Pug Princess Pickles. That's so much fun. I woke up, I realized I was in a dream. I got depressed, I realized I was in love. I wanted to experience that since again, so I started buy buying all the Princess Pickles stuff I could. However... Unfortunately, in the show itself, the princess never falls in love. So much as I wanted to, I, got, I got, never got to see her face full of love the way I did in my dreams. <laughs> it's like... The face he made when she was in love was the cutest thing i ever seen. Yes, indeed. The, so the, so the, so fill the brain with my overflowing affection, 
So the friend says, I decided to draw that face myself. I was consuming with passion, and I finished one Princess Pickles project after another. I'm so happy with my results, I decided to put it on my personal website to see what happened. <laughs> and it was an instant success! Then I was... I was reborn as a true fanfic creator. So that's why, huh? Uh -huh. I was so happy! I had no idea that other people on the planet felt the same thing I, I had. I can't thank her, I know that, so instead... So I'll ball up all my love and affection and use it to do incredibly embarrassing things to her! What the... I think I missed the mark by a mile! Maybe I'm better off for hearing things he has to say. I'm better off saying him now. <laughs> He's still developing as a woman, you know? I can keep developing her in all sorts of ways. Maybe... Maybe understanding him just a little bit better is good enough. Solution! <laughs> yeah! My room. Um, this is a school announcement. Okay, oh. bye. <laughs> okay, I gotta get some more clean done. again good
Leveled up, yay! Alright. Love, good love, result, love. Mr. Yes, Maegi. pop is so rare. It's, it's a rare Coca Cola. I didn't talk to you about. <laughs> okay, here's the room. In his room. <laughs> okay, it's all, it's all dressed back there. Hey, yeah, look, I'm Mr. Nagi doing Secret Flower Garden. What are we talking about? Is it Princess Pickles again? Huh? Pickles? <laughs> no, who cares about her? What do you mean, I thought you cared for her like a lot. Oh. Um. Well, maybe I misspoke. It's just I don't have everyone talk to think about her right now. See, I was thinking of maybe creating something original. Original? Hmm. I could have been back in my mind the whole time I was doing fanfic. Fanfic is amazing, don't get me wrong. The way this particular people will share dreams will speak. Mm -hmm. I think I have more to offer. I think I'm ready for the challenge of creating that dream myself. I think I'll create something that might save someone the way Princess saved me. Here we go! I want to create a masterpiece that will stand the mainstream audience. I only watch it in, I mean, the weekends and I only read the... I only really know the most popular comments. And let's try and make something that has the same reach as that stuff. I guess I really wanted to do something is create something that other people make, want to make a fanfic of. Mm -hmm. Of course, also making a fanfic myself. That's my life work after all. Like, the, that can coexist along with the original work. It's like the best of both worlds. Is that your dream? <laughs> <laughs> a dream when you look like that. Stop it, you're embarrassing me! But you have a dream to work towards, it's really nice. I'll be turning you on in private. <laughs> no, Mr. Nagi, in private. Is that acceptable? Huh? Yes, indeed. I, become, I want you to become my assistant! That's right, a legendary his, assistant slash historian. I feel as if. Aw oh, man, how cool is that? You can be my own personal narrator. Hmm. Hmm. Long ago, there's hmm. a man named. Yifumi Yamada, who's an incredibly famous fanfic creator. <laughs> His grandpa went up the mountain to cut and cut and cut and cut. Yeah. His grandma spent the, her days watching clothes, washing clothes, watching pants, watching all kinds of stuff. Here comes our giant rare peaks on the river. So grab it, sell it, it's better. Uh, Yifumi? Mm hmm. Sorry, I located away my, my, my latest plot. That's what that was. <laughs> anyway, I'll begin on you to give the world a play by play as I send the Godhood. Uh, I mean, if I'm successful. Uh, I'll be counting on your unique perspective as my friend. I'm glad I've learned about a few of your dreams. I understand them better. And we've become friends finally. There's this room. Very refreshed. Yay! He's good. <laughs> Isn't that wonderful? Yay! Let's melt. See ya later. Ah, 
Alright. Check the fast support card. Yep, he's he's maxed out. Awesome! So next I'll do him next. But I'll wait for next time. Hey, if you enjoy what I do here, I will give you a like and a like and a comment. And subscribe if you have not. And if you have if you have, if you, if you afford it, how about send me a little something something with my uh, Amazon wish list or my Patreon. But nevertheless, enjoy the randomness and never stop learning. It's in reverse, but whatever. I'll see you next time. Bye.